Tyre companies have posted a decent performance in Q4 despite weak market conditions impacted by weak demand from original equipment manufacturers. In our ideas for profit today, I'll discuss some of these tyre stocks which investors can keep an eye on for the long term. Let's actually look at some of the sales in Q4 uh, that witnessed double digit percentage decline on a year on year basis. The operating profitability, however, of such companies, say Apollo Tyre, Seat, and MRF, they actually improved significantly and that was due to the sharp decline in the raw material prices. Now, if you look at these prices, the natural rubber prices are down 17.2% year to date, that's YTD, and a significant decline in the oil prices due to the outbreak of COVID-19 has also helped these tyre manufacturers in Q4. Now, we do remain bearish on the oil prices in the near term as well, which should improve the profitability of these tyre companies even in the quarters ahead. Now, slowdown in demand from OEMs has been at alarming levels due to COVID-19. However, the natural after the national lockdown was actually is there had been a sharp recovery also in say passenger vehicles in two-wheeler segments as well now the rural areas are the least affected due to COVID-19 and hence the demand pickup has been very sharp post the lockdown relaxations in these areas going forward the situation will improve in say two-wheelers as well as passenger vehicles and the farm equipment segment as there is pent-up demand for these vehicles as well now we do expect demand to remain weak in the short term due to the slow recovery in the economy the replacement market however for tires is growing at a healthy pace now we expect that to continue uh, doing well as well and in fact the higher demand is expected in this segment from q2 fi21 onwards let's actually look at this quarterly snapshot for those, these uh, few companies now polo tires results were in line with the expectations it saw a year-on-year -year decline of 15.5 percent in the sales the sales to oems declined by 40 percent whereas the replacement market also witnessed weakness with sales down by six percent led by lockdown in the month of march now, its European business declined 3.8% and the Asia-Pacific, Middle East as well as the African operations fell by 20.5%. Now, the softening of the raw material prices have led to an EBITDA margin expansion of 322 basis points as well. We do expect the replacement segment to be robust even going forward and help the company's profitability going forward. Now, in the international markets, the management expects margins from its European business to increase led by the rich product mix and the operating leverage as well. Let's move on to Seat Tires now, which has posted a year-on-year -year decline of 10.6% in the net revenues, driven by 11% decline in the volumes as well. OEM volumes continue to be under pressure even now. Now, EBITDA saw a strong growth of 23.4% year-on-year and margins also expanded by 351 basis points, led by a significant correction in the raw material prices. Now, the management has highlighted that the demand would recover slowly and will definitely take time to reach the pre-COVID levels. But the benign raw material prices are expected to aid the operating profitability going forward from here. Let's move on to MRF now, the market leader, which posted an inline set of numbers for Q4. The sales saw a decline of 10.9% year-on-year um, basis, also led by weak demand coming in from OEMs. Now, MRF's EBITDA margin expanded by 172.9 basis points year-on-year. -year. As for the valuations, Apollo Tire stock price is trading at valuation discount when you compare it to MRF and to Seat. Now, the company is trading at 11.8 times FI22 projected earnings. Also, MRF, the market leader, deserves premium valuations. It is trading at a valuation of 16.7 times FI22 projected earnings. And Seat is currently trading at 13.6 times the FI22 projected earnings. Investors can therefore go long on a polo tire in a staggered manner as the demand would recover slowly. As far as um, MRF is concerned, investors can accumulate the stock on any weakness if they find. Investors can also look to accumulate C it as well for the long term.